Hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Don't Starve Together, uh, with my little brother. He does not have a channel, he does not have a YouTube channel, he does not stream, he is just here because we wanted to hang out together, especially, uh, across the country and unable to visit each other for, like, two years. So, uh, originally we were gonna do a Dark Souls 3 series, but we got invaded multiple times per life, effectively, so I'd have, like, two invaders after me Well. I within like maybe half an hour of starting and it was just it was too much especially because my brother had never played so instead as kind of a fallback option we decided to play don't starve together uh so it's heavily modded this will not be a particularly vanilla experience in fact this will probably be kind of a stupid easy experience i have minimal death penalties and like an rpg mod and some other stuff but at the same time i've never actually done a proper series on this and i really wanted to so i hope you enjoy Let's see, got back. What happened to Dark Souls 3? It, too many invaders. Very hard to teach somebody how to play a game when you get an invader every 30 seconds. Maybe someday. Well, I mean, probably if I played it on my own a little bit. Just kind of in so offline bad. mode. It would, it would also operate a little bit better, so... Yeah, yeah but al kinda... alternatively, we can come back later, later, and it'll be okay. <laughs> And by later, later, you mean show up at some odd time when not that many people are playing the game, right? Uh, I mean, people are playing always. Uh, we had some <laughs> Russian kid effectively bullying us a long time ago when we were playing Dark Souls 2 at, like, way late at night. There's there's no stopping these people. Yes. Fair enough. I think I'm going to go with Wilson just because otherwise I'm going to die horribly. Uh. Is Wilson the basic guy, or is he the spider he's, boy? He's the basic guy. Okay. He's he's not bad. I don't remember what his bonuses or negatives are. Uh, I think none, <laughs> largely. I think the one benefit for him is he grows a beard, which can be used to make yeah. uh, meat effigy, which is really useful solo. Not at all useful for what we're doing. Oh, Okay. Because there is no penalty for death. Oh, is I that turned true? that off. I turned I that see. way off. I, I, don't I should just. It. I should not pick flowers, though. We should save them for later. Is that a thing? Uh, no. Picking flowers is fine. They re uh they rot. Um. Okay. So. Pick everything up. There's pretty much no consequences. I believe I have a mod that makes it so everything regrows. Uh, I think that was the case. Okay. I didn't mess so with the world some... settings too much. Did the mods make like the game a little bit easier then? Or much what easier. Exactly? So okay. specifically, <laughs> uh, specifically the mod uh, that helps the most, honestly, is just a zero death penalty. Because... That means when, normally when you die, you like lose some maximum stuff that you can get back very slowly, I think, but it's a pain. I see. Um, but alternatively, you know, this way, if you go down, it's not the, not a big deal. I see there's a map now. Maybe there's yes. a map before and I didn't know it. Is that a mod? I, <laughs> I, you know, I'd have to take a look at my mod list. Okay, I remember feeling like I needed a map last time, and maybe it existed, and I didn't know it. There you are. Yep. Looking all cute and tree-like, chopping down that tree. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. So my character see. loses sanity for chopping down trees, but I get more for planting them. So I, I can kind of chop down trees, but for the most part, that's going to be mildly your job. Okay. I mean, that seems reasonable. I don't lose any sanity for that, right? Uh, correct. You don't You don't lose anything. Should I, I, I when I see a berry a... bush, should I always yeah, pick it? Go for berry bushes. Okay. Because I know food goes bad, so I wasn't sure if, like, you kind of save. It goes bad, but it doesn't go bad that fast. So okay. you, you don't have to worry too much. I considered playing that, like, robot-like character just so that you could eat food that's gone off more. The robot, uh, we should have plenty of food. Uh, okay. So the, this character that I'm playing has some serious farming benefits. 
Uh, the other thing I will say, by the way, uh, my character has penalties for uh, digging up stumps. So eventually, once we get shovels, uh, that will be also your job. We should probably build a... Oh, I don't have any stone. Why is my sanity slowly decreasing? Because uh, it's dark, because everything sucks. It's a wide variety <laughs> of reasons. I see. It just always does that? Or... Yeah. Okay. Um let's see. Time do we, got? we got we got plenty. And what do I do to build stuff? So menu on the left side. Tools. Oh, it's a sinkhole we can use. Let's see. So yeah, you're gonna want to make a pickaxe, an axe. Those are those are by and far your absolute best basic starting items. Oh gosh, something just came up and bit me. Why did I make that? That was a thing. Oh, there's uh, lots see. of them. What what bit you? <laughs> there there are bats. Interesting. They're kind of hard to... Let me... I'm going to come your direction. I've I never chop heard them about with this. The axe. I could chop them with the axe, but I had to... Oh, there's just more of them. There just keeps oh, being there more. there they are. I... Well, I can run away from them. The bats were Probably added better later than from what I'm used to. Okay. Um. Here. If you head back up to the portal, uh, I'm going to put up a kind of rudimentary base here. Eventually we're gonna want to we're gonna wanna move it. Okay. But it's it's just it? about to become nighttime, so I'm directly to the east of you. Okay. Now that I'm taking like a bunch of damage, I can you like heal rest it back to get that by back, right? Directly to the east. Okay. Oh interesting. Yeah, you do not want to be caught out in the dark. It is Yeah. It is bad. Uh, let's see. How you doing on food? Um, Probably not great. Have some berries. I have a lot of berries actually. Oh. Well, now you got more. Okay. My so I have is a... still slowly decreasing. <laughs> yes. Uh so easy way to fix that is by making uh flower garlands. Uh, you can put them on your head, and that increases your sanity. Hanging out near uh, sources of light helps a fair bit. There's a couple other things that you can do. Okay. Uh, but there's see. not something specifically I'm doing that's causing it to go down. No. Let me see. Not crafting. So, by the way, on the oop, I'm starting to get toasty. Uh, on the top left, there is a uh, an achievements menu that I've added. Uh, this is absolutely the most cheatsy thing, but the achievements can be used to uh to give yourself perks that normally don't exist in the game, like small amounts of run speed, or uh, you just produce small amounts of light. Okay. So you might want to look at look at that at some point because we start with 10 achievement points and we earn more by just leveling up killing monsters or uh completing achievements get it's killed helpful. by charlie <laughs> die to you a get... flower you died no no some of the achievements require you to die <laughs> oh yeah i mean multiplayer yeah so it shouldn't be too bad um, how do I make this flower garland? You gave me some petals, but it's under one of these menus. Yeah, you gotta get 12, and it should be under probably dress. So look for the top hat. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. Florid postern. Oh, 
Whoa. It's killing me. Oh, shoot, frog. <laughs> My health remains at 30. Oh, it's F. That's how I, that's how I attack. I remember this now. I was not oh. expecting a frog to just pop out and start murdering me. What makes it attack with F? Uh, F is just the attack button. Normally, uh, normally you just, uh, it won't let you just automatically attack stuff. You have to press a dedicated attack button. Well, no, I think you can do it by clicking on them as well. That was how I did it, and it seemed kind of clunky, like you'd want to move F to a particular location to do it. If you press and hold F, your character just moves close to an enemy and just goes to town on them, which I, I find to be the, uh, the, the way to do preferred it. Preferred means of doing it, yeah. All right. I got me the flower garland. Fabulous. What's up with this, like, basil bub, like, summoning pit? Straight out of Lord of the Flies here. I, you know, I don't remember what the touchstone does. Okay, so you said health comes back when I eat stuff? Yes. Uh, cooked things specifically. Ah, uh, I was thinking the berries were not. <laughs> but were if not you cook the berries, the they will. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, the, tu the touchstone is normally used to revive you. Okay. But because of the mod, we don't need it. It's different. Yeah, because we can touch either your own skeleton, or you can touch the uh, uh, the portal. Okay. Great. Science machine. Well, I guess that's no different than what we had in Astroneer. So. <laughs> yep. Um. Let's see. Did you cut down some trees? Because I don't. I don't have a whole lot of wood. I, I cut several things of wood. Do we need like a log for the night or like how? We need several logs for the night. So I've got five. Uh, it should be fine. That's my sanity. Oh, my sanity is fine. I'll go chop a couple of trees. Oh, I mean, I can go get more, right? Yeah, eventually we're going to want more. The trees don't grow brack, but we have to plant them. Is that how Correct. this goes? So we could just deforest it and pay for the repercussions later. Sort of. Uh, so you want you want to regrow the trees almost immediately for two reasons. One, uh, because it's just you know you're going to need those resources. The other immediate issue is um, ooh, uh, the other immediate issue is after a certain point, effectively like a giant wood beast. Uh, a sentient oh. tree decides uh, it's had enough of you and comes to uh, wreck, wreck your face. And so that's it just is... if you don't plant enough trees, it has nothing to do with the like how many you do in a row or whatnot. Correct. Interesting. Okay. Can I plant seeds? Yes, sort of. Uh, we can get farms later to plant seeds. I can plant them normally, uh, but I found the game gets kind of cranky and crashy if I do. So, I don't. <laughs> decisions. Decisions. Okay. I mean, cranky and crashy seems like something. Maybe, maybe it's been fixed. Maybe it's you. better. I don't know. I am planting trees. I got Perfect. good at that. Should I be letting you do that so you can regain sanity, though? Uh, My sanity will consistently remain okay. Currently, it's at uh, 134 out of 200. So, we're, we're in a fine spot. But what if I had played the character who lights fires when her sanity dips too low? Uh, I don't think my character actually has problems with that character. Oh, interesting. I don't seem to get quite as many pine cones as I get for trees I cut down, though. Go for the bigger, biggest trees. The, those are the ones that you get the pine cones from. I see. Oh, 
Let's see. So I want to do structures chest. Chest needs three logs or three lumber. That's uh, so you should come back, by the way. Yeah. I'm seeing that. Okay, so I put a chest down so we can start we can start storing some of our more uncommon resources. Uh ones that I would recommend storing gold, feathers, reeds. There's probably a lot of other stuff. When you say So more common but not that common? Yeah, thing things that we don't want uh clogging our inventory. Okay, so I've got, like, guano from killing these bats. Yeah, storing that's not a bad idea. Okay. What about stuff that's going to decompose? Probably don't store that? Uh, yeah. Nah, just eat that stuff. Cool. <laughs> what food is closest? got fin feet. Let's see. So I got a hound's tooth. Monster meat. Yep. Uh, do not eat that. Okay. So you you can cook it and, and it reduces it, the negative repercussions. <laughs> yeah. And yet it, they not, remain. Not as great. Let's see. I see that it's like pretty hard to actually regain that health that you lose. Yep. Because eating all these things is like one at one a time. <laughs> yeah, it's not great. We get healing poultices later. Uh, let's see. I think that's under survival. But we gotta find uh we gotta find spiders before we can do that one easy. Hello, I got a gnome. Let's so see. with the science machine, do you research things with it or does it Yeah, just... so for example, if you go to refine there should be like boards, and you can prototype boards by just doing it once. And then you can make yeah. it wherever. Okay. But yeah, science machine is your your basic, uh, your basic progression system. There's a alchemy engine that I think we get access to later too, which gives the <laughs> other half. And then I think uh, there's a couple of perfect. recipes we have to find while we're out and about too. I needed something to criticize about this game. We needed the science and the chemistry to be involved, right? I mean, clearly. Mm -hmm. Though, <laughs> I think at this point, I unlike the unlike Astroneer, where the science was kind it of like a major backdrop, this is all like crazy fantasy science and... Yeah. No, I, I think it was more just funny with Astroneer how oftentimes I would look at something and be like, that doesn't quite seem right. And there would like actually be some rather like convincing explanation in the end why it was that way. Um, I think that the most obvious of which was someone mentioned last time that the, uh, the reason that the gases were colored, even though many of them were colorless, was because that was their atomic emission spectra for the noble gases. Which is really clever. Yeah. This game does not do that. No. <laughs> this is more like pseudo, super pseudoscience. Good luck. That's all right. Um, so how do I know if something is the biggest tree? Is this the biggest tree? I uh, honestly, no, these you'll things know by down experience. here look like the biggest tree, don't they? Yeah, there's also certain types that just do not. Um, like the. They're, uh, sorry. There, there are just certain types of uh, of trees that I think don't drop pine cones, no matter what. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry too much about those. I am seeing that I'm getting two birch nuts from these guys, so I can actually propagate them this way. 
Yep. By the way, there's a backpack under the survival tab that might be worth grabbing. <laughs> Does that increase my inventory space? Yeah. Can I plant seeds, though? Seems I can eat them. Yeah, so you can't plant seeds yet. We need a, we need a farm. I see. Do you just not Bef pick up mushrooms then, either? Uh, so most of the mushrooms only pop up during the night. Okay. And so... S should I pick them or not pick them? Uh, you can use them for cooking, personally. Eh. I have this red cap, but it'll deal damage to me. <laughs> yeah, so I know you can I know you can cook with it, and there are certain crockpot recipes that are actually, like, primo. And I think one or two of them use mushrooms, but I don't remember. I think what I when I looked into it, it was just like, yeah, this isn't this isn't as worth it as I would like it to be. So I just stopped and never went back. That makes sense. But yeah, the uh, the biggest and most obvious ones, uh, trees that are worth chopping down are just like the basic evergreen looking ones. They have zero consequences. Uh, and if you chop down the biggest one, it'll drop two pine cones. So as soon as you drop, uh, chop down one of those and it drops two pine cones, you know you found the largest size. And yeah, you can just memorize that makes it sense. From there. That, was, that was what I got with the other one that dropped the birch nuts. Um, there's something that I use to start fires, though. Uh, no, you just drop a log on it. I need, like... Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, the fire the fire just kind of happens. Oh, but I need to just left click with it. That's all. Okay. Yep. I was worried for a moment. I guess we really don't need to worry about me with with sanity cuz yeah, as long as I only chop down the biggest trees, uh I actually regain sanity as opposed to lose it. Ah. Okay, I was wondering that. That seems like a pretty strong perk, doesn't it? This this character is very powerful. <laughs> There's a couple of modded characters that are real strong, but I didn't want to use them. Okay, so if I have some stuff from prototyping, should I just put it in the chest? Or <laughs> should I put up some fencing? Uh, I wouldn't bother with fencing. Um, I have it, though. Yeah, well, okay. It is worth... It is worth actually having fences around our base as eventually uh on the night of the full moon we get attacked by a bunch of dogs gives right. a little bit more space than that in the future uh our base will extend southward i don't want to go too close to whatever that thing is up there should i worry about this that's the portal that's where that's how we got here it's concerning though it is but this whole world is concerning we got here through concerning <laughs> means that's true um, there's no way to just, like, increase the, to, to move the fence after putting it down, is there? Uh, if you get a hammer, you can pick it up and move it around. Oh, okay. If I had a okay. hammer. Uh, so you rocks should be able to grass. prototype and make one. Yeah, it's just rocks and grass. The other thing I was going to say is, uh, I need you to burn a couple of trees down burn. Okay. Yes. Uh, reason being, if you burn the trees down, uh, we get charcoal. Charcoal can be used to make the crock pot. And we need we need that. Ugh. But you said I start with some achievement points. Yes. What do I want to save for? So, do I want sanity regen? Uh, Health Sanity Regen, regen is not actually that help helpful, uh, unless you spec really hard into it. Speed can be really nice for getting around. Uh, I dim want light health is actually. Regen. Would Health yeah. Regen be. Uh, one point in Health Regen m makes a fair difference. Okay, I'm doing it. It's only a quarter of an HP point per five seconds. <laughs> but that feels like a lot better than the other things I'm doing are accomplishing. <laughs> yes, I've, I've managed to gain 18 health back over the past <laughs> several minutes yeah. of gameplay. 
Let's see. So you want to make a torch and go burn some, uh, burn some trees down. All right. Really should have played that one person that burns stuff. Eh, I. She was the first character I ever played, and it went bad. But yeah, I mean you could. Doing it. Also managed to light myself on fire in part of this. Uh, well, it's a good thing you got that regen. It's pretty hard. I, I think it's not damaging me, actually. How many do I need to burn? Oh, that means you're probably very warm. You should have a temperature meter, maybe? That pops up. When that pops up, it, it'll be like, hey, uh, real hot. And if you keep that up, then you start taking damage. It mostly is just you walk up to it and you've got the torch and you got to light it. And you got to yep. run away from it really quickly in order for it to not damage you. All right, how yes. many things am I supposed to be lighting on fire anyways? We need at least six charcoal. That's really all we immediately need. Then we will need more over, uh, over the course of the game. But six for the initial bit is the best. Okay. I find that I lit a few things on fire, and it turns out that those things could light other things on fire. Yep. And that that just okay. keeps going. We will get enough pine cones to make up for most arson. <laughs> just don't let it get to our base. That's what the fence is for, right? Well, the fence is made out of wood, so. <laughs> Defense is to keep me from... From destroying okay. everything? Yeah, it's... Oh, wait. What's happening? You okay? Yeah, it, it seems that it's pretty easy to get too warm if you're near a lot of fires, even at a pretty far distance. Yeah. Well, it's early autumn. Still pretty toasty. Does your apartment have a uh, good AC or no, not really? We have a window AC, which has been okay. useful when it got up to 99 last week. Yep. Yeah, we had one day that was like 100, and I was just like, I'm so glad Michelle uh, convinced me to go for the house that wasn't, or <laughs> that had AC. Uh, let's see. Other thing of note, we should look around and try and find a spider nest. We need silk bad. Spiders are scary, though. Yeah, they are. I've been watching you play that, uh... That... Yeah, Grounded. Yeah, <laughs> Grounded that game. Is, game. That game is sufficiently spooky. I... I've never been much of a spider fan, and I'm very glad that that game has a arachnophobia mode. <laughs> oh, just to, like... To be cognizant of the fact that some people would find like that experience in a first person game to be extremely utterly... unsettling. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So the this light radius. The, right... hmm? the light radius is good because it keeps you from It keeps you from getting instigibbed at night. I see. Uh, which is actually super helpful because it means that you could potentially walk around endlessly at nighttime safely. Yeah. yeah I see the value of that. Uh, let's see. So I, I see think that the uh, bats are mostly I'm... to the right of our base. Yep. I think they get spawned out of a hole or somewhere. I, I don't really know. That one point in health regen has done more than eating all the food has so far. Yeah, I'm real tempted to pick pick that up. Mm, but it does that push said, you a little... later on <laughs> we get better better foods that heal us better, uh, especially if you've got that charcoal. Yes, I do have it. I have 20 charcoal. And four ashes. Did I do good? Yeah, that that's more than enough. Cause now we can okay. now we can make uh, crockpots one or two, and uh, <laughs> just cook. Uh, just a bunch of berries together makes like a fruit jam. 
oh okay great yeah and it's better it's better food and i think it does heal you a little bit the, the healing has become far less important all of a sudden <laughs> still useful for me. I'm not sure if I necessarily want to feed myself. Does Flint come back? Do things like that regen? Yes. Uh, in fact, okay. Time for me to invest into that health regen. Oh, did you just get wrecked by some bats? Bunch of bats. We'll probably want to move our base. I'm trying to find a, uh, a spider nest first. 